everybody, so I hope you are well and having the best day ever. Today is a very exciting video because I'm coming at you with another Lush haul, shock, horror, I've spent more money on things I don't need. What is wrong with me? I don't know. Today I'm coming at you with the entire Lush Mother's Day range for 2018. I'm very excited if you couldn't tell. I bought everything apart from one thing which was the bar bar bubble bar because I had it last time, it was nice, didn't feel like I needed another one however I feel like they've changed the scent this year let me know if that's right, I don't know um, but I didn't buy one of those because I felt like I didn't need it so we didn't buy one of those however I did buy everything else so yeah we are going to be going through everything from the Lush Mother's Day range this year. I am so excited to finally have all of these things. I received them today, so now I'm filming the video. And you're going to be watching this on Wednesday. So for me, it's Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock. I've not had dinner, and I need to film a video and edit this and upload it for tomorrow. So wish me luck. I hope you guys enjoy. Grab yourselves... Grab yourselves? That sounds weird. Grab yourselves a coffee, a tea, a hot chocolate, or whatever you fancy, and let's jump into the video. So the first thing I'm going to be sharing with you is this naked shower gel. This is called Ant Antiope, Antiope, Antiope. I think. Something like that. I'm not really sure. In terms of the smell, it has a very earthy smell, but it's also got like a slight lemony smell, but there is no lemon in it. Uh, it has, let me just check, um, Brazilian orange oil, Davana oil, galbanum oil, white Amazonian clay, that kind of smell. Very earthy and very strong. Don't know if I like it. It costs 9 95 though, so I would go in and smell it before you buy it in case you don't like this sort of smell, but it's not really my kind of thing. It's quite earthy but quite strong, and I don't know if I like it, but I do like the solid shower gel, so I am going to give this a try, and I think I will enjoy it, but yeah, I don't know about the smell for this one. Next up is the massage bar for this year, and that is Honey Bear. This one I really like. He has odd-shaped eyes and looks really cute. And he has vanilla absolute and let me see what else he has Tonka clove leaf oil vetiver oil honey that kind of thing and vegan dark chocolate as well Which is what I assume his eyes are made from I guess, but This smells like something that we've had before And I can't picture what it is Look how cute he is. He's a little bear. Very, very cute. He is $5.95, so it's a little bit expensive, especially for the size, but I do really like him, and I would definitely pick one of those up if you're in store or online, or just buy it all, because, you know, we're all obsessed, aren't we? Let's be honest. Moving on to bath bombs now. This is the Mum Look What I Made For You bath bomb. Really long name, not gonna lie. Don't really understand why they keep doing that, but this is really, really cute. It looks like it's been drawn as well, so it looks like it's been hand-drawn by a child, I guess, but this one, again, it smells very familiar. It actually smells like, if you remember, the Dirty Deal body shower stuff that was released like two years ago. This is what it smells like, which is really bizarre. It brings back all the memories, but I really do like the smell of this one. And it has coconut milk powder, cocoa absolute almond essential oils, and coconut blossom nectar. And that is basically it. But it's really subtle and really gentle. So if you know anyone who doesn't like overly powerful smells, they'll probably really like that one. That bath bomb is £3.95, so really affordable and just a nice one if you want to buy your mum a little gift on um, Mother's Day because it's not overly expensive. So I'd definitely pick one of those up if you can because they smell very, very good. Next up, we have this bad boy. This is the Madame President bath bomb and this one is £4.50, I want to say. Yeah, £4.50. This one has grapefruit oil, petit grain oil and cream of tartar in it, but it does smell really familiar and I cannot pinpoint it as to what it is. Smells delicious though, so I would recommend this one and it looks like it's going to be hella amazing in the water, I'm not going to lie. Next up we have Incredible Mum, which I've just realised is supposed to be like a superhero with a cape and some glasses on, which is so cute. This one is £3.95 and this again smells so familiar. This smells like... Violet. Like what Bar Bar smelled like last year. Smells very, very good though. I really love the smell of this one. This one has Ylang Ylang bergamot and orange blossom oil in it, so it smells really lovely. And again, it does smell like violets, which I absolutely love. One thing I will say about this one though, it's very heavy, like it feels very weighty, so I'm really excited to see what's inside this one, um, and it does smell incredible. Now moving on to bubble bars, the first one I'm going to share with you is the most exciting, and it's this one. This is the Mum in a Spin bubble bar, which is supposed to be like a fidget spinner, which is very, very cool. 
this smells like twilight. Oh my god. This literally smells incredible. This one is $4.95 as well, and I believe it's reusable as well, so you just hold it under the tap. It will spin around a little bit, you get some bubbles, and then you can reuse it. But oh my god, this is amazing. So this has lavender, tonka, and vanilla in it, and it is literally incredible. Get 20 of these, guys. Get 20 of these. These are amazing. So good. The next three bubble bars are supposed to be like bubble runes, which we used to have three of, and now we only, I believe, have one. Um, the first one is called Purple Drain, which is obviously a take on Purple Rain, and this smells so familiar. What is that smell? There's been something that smells like that before. What is it? It's the most annoying thing, knowing a familiar smell and then not knowing what it is, but that smells amazing. This one is £4.75, and I believe they're all the exact same price as well, so £4.75 each. And this one has Muru Muru butter, cocoa butter, clove bud oil, black pepper, and peppermint. Is this the ladybird bubble bath smell? I feel like it could be the ladybird bubble bath smell. If you know what this is supposed to smell like, comment down below, please, because it's going to literally drive me insane. So let me know. I think it's the ladybird bubble bath smell. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that smells amazing. Next up, we have the Mother of Pearl bubble bar, and this one, again, is £4.75. And that smells like rub, rub, rub. Yes, please. This smells incredible, honestly. We used to have a bubble bar called... What was it called? I can't remember. It looked like a little nun. What was it? Mother... Mother something something? What was it called? It's on the tip of my tongue, but it was a blue blob with a little white face, and it was so cute. This smells exactly the same, so... Like Sakura and like Rubber Brub, this smells like cherry blossoms and it's so nice. I absolutely love the design of these, like the watercolour kind of on top. So pretty and this smells heavenly. Again, I could eat it, but I won't because that would be weird and nobody wants to see that, do they? And lastly, for bubble bars, we have this one. This is called Citrus Are Doing It For Themselves, which is the weirdest name on the planet because I don't get it. Does anybody get that? Explain it down below because I really don't get the joke behind it. Uh, but this one smells shock horror like citrus. This smells very similar to like avo bath. It's got a very strong lemongrass smell. In terms of ingredients, let's see what it has. This has lemon oil, lemon myrtle oil, grapefruit oil, lime oil, and it basically smells like citrus fruits. It's so good. If you like citrus smells, you will love this one. And again, because it's got the like cream in the middle, it's going to be so moisturizing and I just love the design, it just looks so cool. Looks edible. But again, I'm not going to eat it because that would be weird. And finally, moving on to all of the soaps that were released this year. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I have a crap ton of soaps. Like, I could give one soap to every house on my street and still have some left over. However, I did buy all five because I wanted to share them with you, obviously. And I hate doing hauls when I don't have everything. So, I have five to share with you. So let's dive in before this video is four hours long. The first one I have to share with you is this one, and this is called Raspberry Milkshake, and this is basically 6 95 I believe, for 100 grams, and oh my god, this smells so good. I can't even describe the smell. Like, it literally smells like you could eat it. It's so good. In terms of ingredients, I am just reading them off my laptop, by the way, because I don't know them all off by heart yet. So this one has almond oil, coconut oil, castor oil, raspberry juice, raspberry seeds, vanilla absolute, Sicilian, Sicilian lemon absolute. It smells amazing. It kind of smells like a lip gloss you would have had when you were maybe nine. Do you know what I mean? Like out of a magazine. That's kind of what it smells like, but it smells so good. I'd recommend this one. It's amazing and it looks stunning as well. Mmm, so good, so good. The next soap is £5.95, and that is Lemon Zest. Now, shock horror, this smells like lemons, but it smells like sherbet lemon sweets. They are incredible. So fresh and so zesty. I absolutely love the smell of this one. And again, shock horror, this has lemon oil, lemon myrtle oil, it has almond oil, lemon peel in it, and coconut oil. Yeah, it smells amazing. Very similar to, like, um... What is it called? Bohemian soap, that kind of smell. But I love the shape of these and it's got a really lovely kind of like soap tree kind of design on it. Really cute, love this one. And the other three soaps that I'm gonna share with you all have the same design in terms of the shape. So they're really nice and really nice hand size to like wash with, you know? I just really like them, I'd recommend them a lot. Then we have the Rosebud soap, which is £5.95. And this one obviously smells like rose, but it's definitely got a different kind of rose smell. Like it's not rose jam. 
It's not Imogen Rose, it's got a different smell to it. In terms of ingredients, this one has ylang ylang, oat milk, neroli oil, coconut oil. It's kind of like it's rosy but not overly floral if you know what I mean, like it's not in your face floral, it's just a really beautiful smell and I absolutely love this and again it's going to be a really lovely one for like the spring and summertime. and I love the shape, I think they're really nice and they're going to be really easy to buy as well because you can just pick them up and go, you don't have to get them cut so I think these are really cool and really nice way of just getting new soaps out there, I really like this one and again smells delish. The next one has a really beautiful design, this is Chamomile Lawn and I absolutely love it like look at those flowers it's so pretty and the color of this is insane this one smells like just bear with me on this one you know when you were maybe younger or a little bit older and you'd have those kind of like sacks that you'd put in the microwave if you had like achy muscles or something this smells like those so it smells like lavender and oat milk it kind of oh it has such a lovely smell this one would be really lovely if you're struggling to sleep at night, like it's so relaxing. I absolutely love this. This one in terms of ingredients has lavender oil, neroli oil, lavender absolute and chamomile blue oil. So again, it's got a really lovely lavender chamomile kind of smell. I thought it'd be overly grassy because of the colour, but it's not. It's so nice. Mmm, so good. Again, I actually think this could be my favourite. Oh, I don't know. I like this one and I like the lemon one, but for different reasons, so I would get those two to be honest. And last but definitely not least for the 2018 Mother's Day range is the final soap and it is this one. This is called, bear with me, Purple Loosestrife, 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 Purple something, but it's cute. Look at the flowers on it, it's so lovely. This smells like Palmer Violet Sweets, so if you love ultraviolet bubble bar which used to be like a rainbow you are gonna freaking love this because it smells exactly like that it's so nice this one is also £5.95 so again they're all the same price and in terms of ingredients this one has violet leaf absolute lavender syrup bergamot oil so good and again this one is so floral but really sweet if you like palmer violet sweets you are gonna freaking love this and i know my mum's gonna really like it because she's a very big fan of palmer violet sweets so mum you are in for a treat with this one it smells amazing so that is the end of my haul video for the 2018 mother's day range i am absolutely in love with everything i absolutely love everything i don't know what my favorites would be i'd have to say either the green and yellow soaps or it could be the spinner that smells like twilight or the bath bomb that looks like a superhero. I like them all. I think they've come up with really innovative scents and kind of designs. I really like them. They're really different from last year and I'm so excited to use everything. Don't forget to follow me on my Snapchat or Instagram, which is exactly my name as it was on YouTube. So just Melody Collis because Every time I use new Lush products, I always upload videos on there. So if you guys ever want to see anything kind of in action, follow me on there. The links are in the description box. I'd love to have you. And yeah, I'm very, very excited to use all these. Also, if you aren't subscribed to both my channels, which is this one and more Melody Collis, please do. It makes me so happy. And we are nearing 5,000 subscribers now. And I'd love to hit that soon. It would be amazing. So if you're not subscribed, please do. And yeah, let me know down below if you are new here. I'd love to know. And I'd love to have a little chin wag with you in the comments so yes anyway I'm gonna go now I need to make some dinner it is nearly eight o'clock now so I need to go make some dinner get ready for bed get ready for work in the morning so yeah I hope you guys are having a fantastic evening and I will see you very soon bye guys